Google's new text-to-video game AI generation tool named Genie is breaking people's minds. It allows you to create video games with a simple text prompt. That's right, you don't need to know how to code at all to make your very own video games. Now, do you wanna see how simple it is to use this tool? And do you wanna see tons of examples of it in action? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn and see just that. Plus, you'll find out how Genie is being used to train artificial intelligent robots. Recently, OpenAI announced Sora, their newest text-to-video tool to the public. And when that happened, the internet lost it. Sora's video examples looked like professional movie scenes. From dogs typing on computers to a couple taking a stroll through Japanese streets. OpenAI blew away all their text-to-video competitors like Runway ML overnight. But Google's new Genie text-to-video game tool is just as, if not more important than Sora. You see, Sora can generate amazing videos but there's no action or gameplay within the video. Once you create a scene, you can't control anything in it. With Google's Genie, you can. Now, I'm in no way saying that output and animations in Genie are better than Sora. They don't even compare and don't come close. But the fact that Genie can create actions within its outputted worlds is a huge deal in the AI space. Those actions allow users to do lots of things. Most notably, they can control characters with in AI generated worlds, just like you see in video games. In a traditional video game, if you want the princess to turn to the right in Mario Kart, you simply press the right side of the D-pad on the controller and the game's logic will figure out the appropriate action to take, which is obviously to turn right in this case. Well, with AI-generated games, and unlike the Mario Kart example, there's no programmer to tell the game what action to take based on the player's input on the control pad. Instead, that logic is figured out by Genie when it creates the game from a text prompt. Genie understands what actions need to be programmed into a game from the text prompt alone. It's really incredible. In order for it to do this, it had to be trained on lots of data. It was mainly trained on 200,000 hours of videos from 2D side-scrolling video games. You know, those games like Contra or Metroid that were made popular by Nintendo back in the 80s? By training on existing footage, Genie learned how to tokenize the training videos, meaning it could break down the still frame images within each game into something it could easily understand on a computer programming level. At the same time it tokenizes those still frames, Genie uses another AI model called a latent action model to figure out the most likely action that's needed from one still frame of the game to the next. And finally, all of that data is fed into a third AI model called Mask GIT to predict future frames based on the prior two models. This is how Genie works and how it creates video games out of thin air. Now that you know how Genie works, let's see some examples. Here's a text input example. You can simply type this into Genie's prompt input box. Create me a video game based around an orange alien who lives in the forest. Genie will then spit out a fully functioning video game for you as seen here. Here's an example of an image-based prompt. On a piece of paper and with some colored pencils, you can sketch out an animal jumping around on some Super Mario Brothers style bricks. Then just upload a pic of that sketch to Genie. It will then create a working game based on that one sketch alone. You can even upload real world images. So for example, you could take a picture of some ants crawling around in the dirt in your backyard and Google's Genie will make a video game out of that. But just remember that this video game AI model isn't available to end users right now. But the good news is that Google tends to release these types of prototypes in a timely fashion. So there's hope you'll be able to create your own video games very soon. One of the coolest things about Genie is it can be used for things other than video games. For example, it can train generalist AI agents, aka robots, how to function in the real world. So imagine a future where Genie trains a robot in your house to clean your dirty bathroom. It would do this by simply telling your robot to look around the room. The robot would see your grimy bathtub and know it needs to take action of scrubbing it clean. Essentially the same logic Genie uses to create video games. So if robots do overtake the world one day, there's a good chance you can say it all happened because of AI generated video games. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about AI and video games, 
check out my other vid, The Brief History of Sega's AI Gaming Console. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.